The shallow part is obviously easy because anything we can do visually, even if it's unfamiliar water, we know what a good blowdown looks like, we know what a good stump, we know what a good boat dot, those things. So that's one big advantage on unfamiliar water or if you haven't developed a pattern, you can visually see those things. So obviously it's, it's probably, it's, in my opinion, the best technique to use in shallow water if you've got any cover whatsoever. And then now, like I said, with the, with the improved electronics, we're almost you know, looking at a video game with those electronics and we can see what's down there and we make little short presentations of just pitches or flips. If you're using a drop shot or a, a one ounce jig, we're, we're doing the same thing. We're making a very accurate presentation uh, with the lure, okay? So that's why I like it so much, uh, and I always will. Let's see what else we got. Like I mentioned, it's very time efficient. <clears throat> when, when we make cast, um, a lot of the, the area that we're casting to, there's dead air, it's, it's really hard for people to make the longer casts you make, the harder it is to be accurate, usually. If you're doing something close, it's a lot easier. So time efficient, extremely effective. And then with the flipping part, it's uh, extremely effective uh, time-wise. And, and the, the strike to land ratio is so good. And, and just real quickly, because I know a lot of you guys certainly know the difference between pitching and flipping, but some don't. The flipping technique, we use a set amount of line, whatever's comfortable, and we leave our reel engaged, and you pull the line out, lower your rod tip, and send that bait out there, okay? So I'm, my bait's up in the air or in the boat. I, I, my, my sons, when I taught them to fish, I'm, I'm a, my pet peeve is somebody that fishes and spends half their time talking or looking, you know, with their bait out of the water. It's wasted time. Very seldom you're going to have one jump out of water and grab your bait. I've had it happen like once or twice in my life, okay? And really have had it happen a time or two. But your bait needs to be in the water. And the deal with flipping, you're, you're in the water and you're right back in the water, okay? The problem with this is very time effective, but the problem with this is we're very limited with our distance. So if I've got targets that range from 30 feet to 10 feet to 40 feet to 15 feet to 20 feet, then it's really tough to do with a set amount of line out like so, okay? So what you'll end up doing if you do flip, if you've got a close target, you drop that bait in there, you end up with some slack line when the bait hits the water. Or if you try to extend yourself out farther than you really can reach, then your bait hits with tight line, and that's never what you want because you're pulling your bait away from the target, okay? But it is so efficient that if I'm all right on a defined edge, like an outside edge of lily pads, if I'm going down a riprap bank, if I've got a scenario where I can keep my boat 20 feet away from my targets, almost every target, then I'm flipping because it's so effective. I'm dropping down. I've got my line where I need to be. I'm going to adjust my boat accordingly. Everybody with me there? We're ready, okay? Now, I don't see that scenario very often. Sometimes, but not a lot. So I want to pitch. And the great thing about pitching is it's time efficient also, but you're always ready for the strike. You're always in a good hook setting position if you do it right, and you're always in a good position to land a fish and that sort of thing. And we pitch the bait out, whether it's 20 feet. Y'all thought I was hung, didn't you? or if it's 30 or 40 feet, or if it's 6 or 8 feet, okay? And we're ready. 